Assalamualaikum. Uh, let's continue from the previous video where actually I stop at the um, slide that I show a lot of equation on it. Uh, so this video will continue the part, the last part that I left uh, and we're going to continue from that. So uh, for this video, all right, uh, I'm going to explain to you about how we can get the equation of amplitude modulation uh, from the equation of modulating wave and also um, the carrier wave. Okay, so you need to understand and refresh back what I have mentioned about the definition of AM signal. Um, and I think I remember told you that the AM signal is where the modulating wave is put on to the carrier wave. So that is why the uh, modulating wave of VM is added to the uh, amplitude of carrier signal over here all right and when we expand it all right to it will be uh like this where the ec is the amplitude of carrier em is the amplitude of modulating signal omega m is actually uh the parameter that represents uh, the frequency of modulating signal. So basically this one is actually 2 pi f uh, m where the f m is the uh, frequency of modulating signal uh, and omega c is the uh, that represent uh, the parameter which is the carrier sorry the frequency of the carrier all right and it will become when we expand uh, this equation, we actually can simply, simplify it to be uh, this equation, okay, where the M here is the, um, or could you take the uh, amplitude of modulating signal divided by uh, amplitude of carrier signal, okay, and this M is called as modulation index. And the value of this M is between 0 to 1. So the minimum value that the M can hold is 0. And the maximum value or I would say ideal value of M is 1. It can be more than 1 but it will affect the, uh, call it the, the, the waveform of the AM signal. Okay. Uh, so this is the uh, time domain or waveform um, changes when we have the modulating wave or what we call as information signal uh, that we uh, modulate with the carrier wave, all right? And the output from the modulation process, we will have the AM signal uh, waveform or what we call as envelope. Okay, so this is the envelope um, that you would get when you try to modulate the information signal and also the carry wave. Alright, so I need to move my picture over here. Alright, so uh, when we have this envelope, uh, the maximum uh, peak over here is the uh, summation of uh, amplitudes between, uh, uh, I mean, taking the modulating signal or information signal with the carrier signal. And the minimum point of the envelope would be the um, subtraction of amplitude, carrier amplitude with the uh, modulating uh, amplitude. Okay. So, uh, and for the uh, modulated wave equation in time domain, we will use, we can use this as the uh, equation, but you need to explain or expand the VMT over here to be, uh, to have the uh, similar properties, which are the amplitude uh, and also the frequency in the equation. Um, I will try to explain in another video how we can get the AM signal uh, and expand it, how we can expand it and get all the properties you need 
uh, all parameters that you need in the AM signal. Okay, so next is about AM frequency spectrum uh, and also bandwidth. So I think I already explained it in brief in chapter one, uh, the meaning of bandwidth. So in, uh, if I can simplify the definition, uh, the bandwidth is actually uh, where we take the maximum frequency minus with the lowest frequency in the frequency spectrum. So that would be um, the, the bandwidth of the signal. Okay, but in the AM signal, basically we will get uh, the summation and also the difference frequency, all right, uh, from the modulation process we did with the information signal as well as the carrier signal. So this summation and difference frequency will appear on the uh, frequency spectrum and from there we can find what is the bandwidth of that particular signal. So the bandwidth of the AM signal would be the difference between the highest upper side frequency and lowest lower side frequency. So in the next slide, I will explain to you what is this, what, what actually mean by the upper side and also lower side frequency. All right. Uh, we also can try, uh, we also can find the bandwidth by taking uh, or using this equation. All right, the maximum modulating frequency and we, and we, we make it uh, times two. Okay, so you can get the bandwidth from that. Right, so uh, from the AM uh, signal equation that we learned uh, just now, all right, which is until here, I think, uh, we can expand it so that we can try to get uh, the upper side as well as lower side frequency from the equation. So um, this slide actually explains to you how we can get uh, those parameters. Um, I, I think you can see it down here. All right, but uh, maybe it is good if I can explain to you in another video how we, I mean, and show you how we can um, use this equation, all right? Um, to to be this equation, right? Uh, and in order for us to do these steps of uh, explanation or expansion of the equation, you need to know the trigonometric identities. So in this slide, we use the cos A times cos B uh, from the trigonometric identities. Uh, and I, I think you already learned this in your mathematic class. Um, and if you don't remember, please refresh your um, memory or knowledge about this because we're going to use it and may help you to understand better about how we can have the upper side band or, or upper side frequency and lower side frequency. So I will explain this in other video after this, um, uh, different video. So, uh, from, I mean, uh, at this moment, I just continue with the slide and uh, finish uh, whatever I want to explain in this video. Okay, so when we explain, uh, sorry, when we uh, try to expand this um, equation using the trigonometric identities, you will get uh, this tab, all right, and lastly, you can have all the parameters you need to be on your uh, AM spectrum, frequency spectrum, which is the uh, carrier amplitude, carrier frequency, uh, the amplitude of the sideband. I'm sorry, I couldn't uh, show you. It's actually on the, uh, uh, the, the, the slide title over here. And then the upper side uh, frequency that comes from the uh, summation of carrier frequency and also the modulating frequency and the lower side frequency or lower side band that comes from the uh, subtraction of carrier frequency with the modulating frequency. Right? Uh, so this is the explanation uh, what you will get on the frequency spectrum of the AM signal. All right, so this is the modulating wave uh, frequency spectrum, and this is the carrier wave. So when you modulate these two, you will get uh, this spectrum uh, at the output, 
where you have this is the carrier okay with the amplitude and also the frequency over here which is the fc and this is the lower sideband which is this is the amplitude and this is the the, the frequency and and it will use the same amplitude as lower side uh, frequency or band but with different uh, upper side frequency okay so i already mentioned this one as well and if we go through these notes that i put uh in this slide all right uh the spectrum frequency spectrum of am signal will have a component of carrier frequency the up and upper side band uh, or upper side frequency where the highest frequency component of this spectrum uh, given by the summation of carrier frequency as well as modulating frequency. Another component is the lower side band or what we call as uh, lower side frequency that comes from the subtraction of carrier frequency minus with the modulating frequency. And the bandwidth of the uh, signal is actually when we take the highest uh, signal over here, sorry, uh, the highest frequency uh, minus with the minimum, uh, the, the lowest frequency of the spectrum. Okay, so that will be the bandwidth, all right, or you can take the modulating frequency, the maximum uh, modulating frequency and times with two, and you will get the same bandwidth as what we uh, uh, we calculate from this spectrum. Okay, so this will be the uh, oh, got it. Uh, the the uh, representation of AM frequency spectrum. All right. Uh, so this area would be the lower side frequency. So it will be on the uh, I would say uh, smaller frequency value of the carrier, and uh, for the upper side band, it will be on the higher side of the carrier frequency. Okay. So this figure actually shows you, uh, I found it in a textbook, the connection or relationship between the time domain and also frequency domain of the signals involved, which is the, I think this is the modulating frequency. Uh, where is the carrier? Okay, I think the, the middle part here, here is the carrier. All right, and when we modulate these two signals, it will give us the lower sideband and upper sideband uh, wave. All right, and this will be the spectrum of AM. Okay, so I hope, um, I think this will be the, yes, it will be the last uh, slide for this video. I hope uh, you can understand the fundamental of AM. And for the next video, I will show you on the expansion or uh, derivation uh, the, the, the equation derivation from uh, using the modulating signal equation uh, and also carrier signal equation to get the AM uh, signal equation. Okay. All right. Thank you. We'll see you on the next video.